Hi friends, my name is Kalaman Shankar. You are watching Physics Made Easy. Friends, today we are discussing about reflection of light in curved surfaces. Next one, here ray diagrams in the spherical mirrors. What is the spherical mirrors? Spherical mirrors are classified into two types: concave mirror and convex mirror. Concave mirror and convex mirror. What is the concave mirror? The reflecting surface bent inward direction. Such type of mirror is called concave mirror. And here convex mirror. The reflecting surface bent outward direction. Such type of mirror is called convex mirror. So today I will explain to you the ray diagrams in the concave and convex mirrors. So first of all, we draw that one principal axis. This is the principal axis. This is the P pole. This is the center of curvature between the both focus point. This is the C means center of curvature. F means focus point. P means pole. We know what is P, what is F, what is C in last class. So first one, when the light ray is parallel to the principal axis, this is the incident ray. How do we say the incident ray? The ray is moves towards the Mirror, such a type of ray is called incident ray. So next one here also. This is P, this is C, this is F. The ray is parallel to the principal axis and strike the reflecting surface. Here also. Me chidi bar class class mujhe pehno. Eight dante. Concave mirror lo reflecting surface wipe matra mein focus center of curvature untundi. काने का सॉरी कान के सरफेस लो मात्र में कान के सरफेस लो मात्र में मन के रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस लो फोकस सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर लो उठाए काने कान के सरफेस लो बिहाइंड द मिरर अंटे मिरर लो बुला अंटे इकड़ मन के सिल्वर सरफेस वाइप को फोकस अंदर सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर सुनताई सो हियर सो इफ एनी इंसिडेंट रे इज पासिंग थ्रू पैरेलल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस It is like the reflecting surface after that is from here one reflected ray. The reflected ray is passing through along the focus, along the focus here. And next one, in convex mirror, the light ray is parallel to the principal axis and it is like the reflecting surface. So the extended reflected ray is reach the focus extended. So what is the direct and normal? Reach the center of curvature. So this is the extended reflector. This is the actual direction, actual direction of the reflected. This is the incident ray. This is the reflected ray. R one. And next, this is also parallel to the principal axis. This is also parallel to the principal axis. After that, I. Is from a one reflected ray. The reflected ray is this is the reflected ray. So another incident ray passing through along the focus. This is the incident ray passing through along the focus. Along the focus. So here light ray parallel to the principal axis. From a one extended ray. This is the actual direction I two R two number of mirrors. So here the all reflected rays are converging on the focus, but all reflected rays are diverging from the reflecting surface. That's why concave mirror is called the convert also called a converging mirror. Converging mirror concave mirror is called a converging mirror. All reflected rays are move away from the principal axis. So this type of mirror, convex mirror, is called a diverging mirror. Diverging mirror. Understand, friends? So we understand here in the ray diagram. First ray diagram is the first ray diagram. If any incident rays are parallel to the principal axis and strike the reflecting surface in both concave mirror and convex mirror. In the concave mirror, it forms a reflected rays. All reflected rays are passing through along the focus, along the focus. But here, all reflected rays are away from the principal axis. 
So friends, that's why this is called a converging mirror. This is called a diverging mirror. Understood friends? A2. Means, if the incident ray is passing through along the focus, along the focus, what is the direction of the reflected ray? So friends, here, see, first of all, this is the incident ray. Here also. This is the incident ray. So, if you want to focus on the convex mirror, you can see the focus on the center of curvature behind the mirror. And the silver surface wipe is there. But, in the concave mirror, you can see the reflective surface wipe is there. So, this is the extended incident ray. This is the extended incident ray. We can see the plane ray in the video. So, this is the extended incident ray. 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 So when if any incident ray is passing through, strike the reflective surface along the focus, it is found here one reflected ray. The reflected ray is a parallel to the principal axis. This is the reflected ray. Friends, if any in the concave mirror, if any incident ray is passing through along the focus, strike the reflective surface, it is found here one reflected ray. The reflected ray is a parallel to the principal axis. But here, If you look at the convex mirror, the incident ray is passing through strike the reflecting surface, the extended incident ray is strike the focus. So, it is from a one reflected ray, the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis, parallel to the principal axis. So, this is the reflector R1, this is the I1. So, see, and next one we take another incident ray. No, no. Another incident ray. The incident ray is passing through along the focus. This is the incident ray passing through along the focus. This is the incident ray. This is the I2. What happened there? This form is one reflected ray. The reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. Parallel to the principal axis. So, but here, when the light ray is passing through, Strike the focus, this form A1 reflected ray, the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. This is the I2, this is the R2. And this friends, in the convex mirror, now if any incident ray is passing through along the focus and strike the concave mirror at a reflecting surface, form A1 reflected ray, the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis. Both are parallel to the principal axis. Not only that, so here also the rays from here we have the rays from here we have the rays from here we have the rays from here so we have the ray diagram so we have the image formation and we have the image concave mirror, convex mirror we have the image formation so 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 we have the convex mirror this is the second one ok friends, next number 3 when the light ray is passing through parallel to the principal axis, this is from your one reflected ray, the reflected ray is passing through along the focus, we know. When the incident ray is passing through along the focus, this is from your one reflected ray, the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis, we know. Next one, when the light ray is passing through along the center of curvature, along the center of curvature, this is the incident ray, along the center of curvature. What happened there? So here also, this is the center of curvature. The extended ray is, this is the center of curvature. Center of curvature, what is happening there? So means, the light, when if any situation, the light ray is passing through along the center of curvature, the light ray is undeviated. The light ray is undeviated. This is the incident ray. This is the normal, this is the reflected ray. So, let us hear also, if any situation, the light ray is passing through strike the center of curvature in the convex mirror, the light ray is undeviated. This is the incident, 
this is also reflected this is the normal incident to reflected normal so that's why we say that the light rays and deviate so in this situation when the light rays and deviate when the light rays pass through along the center of curvature the light rays and deviate why because of here in the curved surfaces if any ray is from the center of curvature to reflecting surface like the reflecting surface such a type of light is called normal such a type of light is called normal center of curvature nunchi poyi light ray anedi edaina manaki ikkada unde reflecting surface strike chesthe normal ikkada center of curvature nunchi reflecting surface ki unde line manam eppadiki kuda normal antam normal nunchi eppudaina incident ray poyindi ante aa light ray anedi undeviate dan direction ni change chesukodu andukane center of curvature meedha manam edaina incident ray pampinchinaapudu aa light ray anedi undeviate the light ray is undeviate here also in the convex surface also when the light is passing light ray anedi poi center of curvature ni extended incident ray poi touch ayinaapudu kuda light ray anedi undeviate dan direction ni change chesukodu ila poi malli tirigi ilagane vastundi manam ee varaku plane mirror lo kuda cheppam plane mirror lo when the light is passing through along the normal the light ray is undeviate in the reflecting surface and also in refraction reflection refraction if any situation light ray is passing through along the normal the light ray is undeviate the direction ni change chesukodu ani maniki ee case third case cheptundi this is the concave mirror that is the convex mirror in the fourth condition if any situation the light ray is passing through along the principal axis so this is the light ray chudandi ki light ray this is the light ray the light ray is passing through along the principal axis along the principal axis what is happen there so here also when the light ray light ray is see the light ray okay see the light ray is passing through along the principal axis what happened there in the spherical mirrors in the concave mirror and the convex mirror so if any situation the light ray is passing through along the principal axis the light ray is undeviate the light ray is undeviate so undeviate means this is the incident ray is from a reflected ray but reflected ray also come to the same line this is also reflected ray so this is the incident ray this is also a reflected ray so understood friends in two situations is there if any situation if the light ray is passing through along the center of curvature the light ray is undeviate and if any situation the light ray is passing through along the principal axis the light ray is undeviate okay and fifth condition if the light ray is passing through strike the reflecting surface at pole at pole see friends the incident ray is passing through strike the pole it is from a1 reflected what is the right direction of the reflected ray so this is the right direction of reflected ray this is the sorry this is the right direction of the reflected ray why because of why because of the center of curvature the line is passing through along the center of curvature okay this center of curvature is there that's why the center of curvature to pole line act a normal so this normal is always equally divided the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection here also angle of incident equal to angle of reflection also friends uh, again if any incident ray is parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis the light ray is passing through along the focus so this is the normal this is the normal. here angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection understood friends so these are five conditions first one the light ray is passing through parallel to the principal axis is from a1 reflected ray the reflected ray is uh, passing through along the focus that is the first ray and the second one if any incident ray is uh, passing through along the focus passing through see if any situation the light ray is passing through along the focus is from a one reflected ray reflected ray is uh, parallel to the principal axis and next one if uh, fourth situation 
if the light ray is a uh, third situation if the light ray is passing through along the center of curvature the light ray is undeviated and uh, fourth situation if the light ray is uh, passing through along the principal axis along the principal axis the light ray is undeviated and the next one fifth situation if any incident ray is uh, passing through strike the po at pole its form a1 reflected ray the principal axis act like a normal he asking when the principal axis act like a normal when if any incident ray is passing through strike at the pole incident ray poi pole ni touch chesinappudu idi oka reflected ray form chestundi aa situation lo principal axis anedi normal laaga act chestundi idi gurtu pettukovali next inkoti important thing when the light ray is undeviated in the concave and the convex mirror in two situations is there if any situation light ray is passing through along the center of curvature the light ray is undeviated first situation second one if any light ray is passing through along the principal axis the light ray is undeviated gurtu pettukondi friends principal axis ki principal axis meedha light ray paina undeviate center of curvature meedha paina kuda light ray anedi undeviate avutundi anedi okati eppudu maniki principal axis normal laaga act chestundi ante eppudaithe incident ray poi pole ni strike chesi idi oka reflected ni form chestundo appudu principal axis anedi normal laaga act chestundi okay friends thank you thank you very much please subscribe our channel and like and share to your friends